Well, hello and welcome back. I'm out uh, doing something I've been wanting to do for months and I just thought maybe you might like to come along. I've got a sunny day, the snow's gone up here, the road's cleared, there's no ice on the lake and I've got my canoe with me today. I'm going to put the canoe in the water for the first time in 2024. I'm pretty excited about it and I'm going to go up to a family's tiny off-grid sleeping cabin on this lake. All right, I'm in. <laughs> what a perfect day. I think it's about three or four years ago now, um, my son and daughter-in-law bought a property up here on this series of lakes. They're all connected by water and um, surrounded by Provincial Park, which is a huge plus for having property up here. This one section of the lake system has cabins on it. They were here before it became a park and uh, they've just been allowed to continue to be here. The last time I was up here was in October, when I put the little cabin to bed for the winter and I'm the first one in the family back up to open it up for the early spring. Spring starts next week, so right on schedule. Okay, there she is, little tiny cabin. Actually pretty darn cute, I think. So that's where I'm headed in and uh, we'll be spending the night right here along the lake, have a fire, it'll be great. Okay, here we go. First time, oh, opening. Okay, got it, just a bit stiff. So this has been closed up for, what, four and a half, five months. Oh, home sweet home. <laughs> Looks just like how I left it. For those of you who haven't seen this little cabin before, it's only, I think, 11 at the widest and 12 at the longest, but it has a vaulted ceiling and it also has a loft. So we have a ladder that goes up and there's a loft up there. Uh, we have a couple of cupboards and the kitchen is actually outside. This is the kitchen, but it's a summer kitchen. And um, this year, I figured out a way for, with just me being here, or maybe me and Bob, uh, how we can just make a little kitchen inside. Over here, we've got a Murphy bed, uh, which is a heavy brute, and uh, another cupboard, and uh, Bob made some built-in shelving. And over in the corner, we have an exterior vented propane heater. My biggest wonder every time I come here is will I be able to get the heater to work? Uh, it's, it's, it's a bit finicky, but I think I figured it out, but it's been a long time since it was lit. So anyway, I'm crossing my fingers and um, I'm gonna unpack now and I'll be getting back to you in a little bit. Well, it's a little dark in this corner, but everything is a go. Like I am very, very happy. The uh, propane heater lit right away. I'll show you my nice sleeping bed. There's the Murphy bed down. Yes, this doesn't look too shabby, does it? <laughs> yes, I'm a, I thought, well, if you're gonna have a Murphy bed, you might as well have a nice quilt. And now this is my make-do kitchen.
This is the kitchen with a view. Beautiful. If you're interested in seeing how we put this cabin together, there's a little video on one of my playlists on uh, my the family cabin build. <laughs> Looks great. I'm gonna be chopping some wood for a fire in a little while. So I'm gonna eat up, get some energy, and then get going again. See you in a bit. Mm, that's good. Well, this is pretty much near perfect. Got my tea, got a fire started. Sun is out and it's shining on me. <laughs> so, and there's no wind. The furnace is going, the propane heater's going in the cabin. And uh, no, everything just went absolutely, everything just went absolutely terrific today. So um, I'm going to enjoy the afternoon. I'm going to go, uh, Get this fire going a bit more and then I'm going to go down to the dock try to cast my line in. You never know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I think it's a bit early but what is there to do this afternoon but to sit out here and enjoy just being here. Okay, surprise, surprise. I just put my rod in the water about 10 minutes ago not thinking that I would catch a fish and lo and behold Look at what I just pulled out. I've got a beautiful little pan-sized cutthroat trout. This is um, smaller than I would like to normally keep, but he had swallowed or she had swallowed it totally and um, would have been a very painful and damaging extraction of the hook. So I'm gonna eat this little guy and enjoy it and be thankful for it. I'm going to try and catch one more so that I can take one home for Bob because he likes to have a trout. But yeah, this is just great and a total surprise. I got one on. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. It's going under the wharf. Oh, you got off. I got another one on. Oh, he feels good this size, this one. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Just take it easy. Okay, keep him up. Oh, this is a good fish. Okay, I'm gonna try and net him. Oh, he got off right at the end. He was just hooked on the side of the lip. It was a good fish though. <laughs> 
Well, that was fun. I don't know if you saw anything except me scrambling around on the dot. All right, I'll rip bait up again and give it another go. <laughs> well, I think it's about time to pack in the fishing today. Um, after losing that one while I was trying to net it, uh, I did catch one more, but it was small and it jumped off the hook uh, and that was fine. I didn't really want to keep it if I could have gotten it off anyway. I had a couple more bites, some couple took the bait. Uh, but you know, what a great way to spend an afternoon. So I got a nice fire going and I'm gonna go up and prep dinner so that when the coals burn down, I'll be ready to cook. And uh, pretty simple afternoon, pretty simple. Okay, we've got veggies, I've got my little fish. I'm gonna cook that tonight, even if I'm not gonna eat it all. And I have a lamb steak. <laughs> I think this is going to be too much dinner. Okay, I'm just gonna put the veggies in there. Wow, look at this, way too much food, but perfectly done. That fish looks absolutely terrific. I'm gonna start with the fish and move up to some veggies and the meat. So there you go. All right. Okay, first course. wonderful day and what I'm going to do is in a little bit I'm going to go up and wash uh, my two dishes and make sure everything's tidied up and maybe turn the heat up a little bit in the cabin and then I'll kind of come back and sit down by the fire and enjoy a little bit of this evening. It's going to chill off pretty quick but uh, right now it's pretty darn amazing. In fact it's by far the warmest evening we've had since the fall. Mm. 
McDonald's hasn't got a touch on this. <laughs> this is definitely a Wendy's kind of breakfast. Oh, I just had to come out. It's perfect out. Well, I expect you can see why I love coming here. <laughs> yep, I am very thankful always every time I come to my son and daughter-in-law, Darren and Brianna, um, for sharing their property like this with us. And yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have this opportunity because <laughs> it's not really mine. <laughs> I just act like it is, but <clears throat> it's not. One of the things I really enjoy about this is the fact that it's, um, you can't drive in. You have to either hike in or paddle or bring some kind of boat. I also enjoy that it's completely out of cell service. <laughs> you, you can't just kind of um, go on to the internet and you can't receive phone calls. That's why I have my Zolio. And last night I uh, did check in. Every night I check in with Bob. I just send him a message to say I'm okay. And then he knows that... I'm all right. I'm where I'm supposed to be. It also sends him um, GPS coordinates so that if I'm not, you know, at the cabin, I'm somewhere else, <clears throat> anything comes up, he'll know where to find me. Don't know if you notice when I stop talking, it's very quiet. It's one of the most therapeutic things about the, you know, backcountry areas and off-grid areas like this that there's this amazing quiet. Well, I'm going to just sit here for a little while, finish my uh, my second decaf here, and uh, and then pack up, clean up the cabin, and I always feel like I've been away, really away when I come here. So here's to a great day, and uh, Here's to what's been a really great experience just coming up here for the first time this spring, 2024. And I hope to be up here quite a few more times over the next little while. Wow, what a perfect, flat, <laughs> calm, peaceful morning to go for a paddle. <laughs> I'm really having a hard time leaving, but I am. <laughs> Reluctantly. All right. Be grateful for what you had, for what you have. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, folks, it looks like I'm getting out of here just in time. <laughs> I'm back here, I'm gonna load my boat up and come carloads of younger people are driving in and they're heading out to the lake. So <laughs> it looks like party time for someone. Anyway, what a great um, visit we've had and I'm just gonna get at it because I think they wanna use this boat launch area. So thanks for coming along and uh, live life fully. That's what I'm trying to do every day. Make the best of the moment. Bye for now.